What's going on guys? It's Jeff. So in yesterday's video, I made a video about the sledgehammer. I was running around with it, bopping people over the head with it, doing some executions and stuff like that. It's uh, yeah, not that bad. And it does actually turn out that it does in fact have different statistics from the knife to the sword to the sledgehammer. It is a little slower, but it has a little bit more range or at least it felt like it anyway. Uh, even on the statistics page, I mean, you can see a difference between speed and range, but I, I don't really know the difference there. So anyway, as you can see the challenge. Yesterday's video, I talked about this challenge and how this challenge was basically broken. Previously, even during Modern Warfare, when I was doing these challenges at like 3, 4 o'clock in the morning, whenever those updates dropped and the new items were there and I was grinding them out, there would be a process where you would have to complete these challenges here. And this says, using the combat knife, kill two or more players rapidly in 15 different matches. Now, in some cases, you can actually just get that double kill and then back out and you will see that it will either track or it will not track. On this game in particular, at this point in time for the sledgehammer, for me anyway, Way. Every single time I backed out after getting a double kill, it actually counted towards my unlock. So when I finally got all the way up to the 15th one and completed the challenge, it even said I completed it in game. But when I came back over here, it was still locked and it came back down to one out of 15. So the game tracked at least 16 of them, but it might not be counting because I had backed out. So I got it to 14 games out of 15 by actually finishing the games now. I just want to see if this sledgehammer is going to unlock, please. There we go. Double kill. It should pop up double, right? Sledgehammer. Oh, it told me I got the sledgehammer right there. See, that's the shit I'm talking about, and it gave me a thousand XP. So, as you can see, the, the picture didn't pop up. It looks like it's even broken. Now, the thing is, what's gonna happen is I'm gonna end up getting out of this game. I mean, maybe because I'm not backing out, it'll actually count, but... Another double just for good measure. Usually it doesn't count more than one in one game. So that's why you would usually back out. But if it says it's tracking, but it's actually not, then we'll see. I honestly think it's broken. I don't know. Whenever I made the video, I had people telling me, dude, stop backing out of the games and stuff. But I don't know if that's just based on their impressions from the last one. The sledgehammer is not bugged in the same way that the other ones are. It seems a little bit different. Rules that we were using, you know, back out, don't back out, all that stuff, it seems a little bit backwards for this one. Or at least inconsistent, because some people can get it, other people can't. I got other people out there that are actually unlocking all of the camos for it as well, that didn't have any access to it before. Some people had access, and now they got locked out of it. It's really weird, man. It's probably one of the most, if not the most unfinished COD of all time. I mean, given under the circumstances, expect it. Crazy thing about it is, I would still rather play on this old, dusty-ass engine than actually go and play a game that has some sort of ridiculous identity crisis like Modern Warfare's multiplayer. That shit just... Ugh. I'm not big on Warzone, but at least I understand why people would play Warzone. If you're somebody that's still out there playing fucking Modern Warfare multiplayer, I am so sorry for you. I was in like the top 300 players at one point. I feel sorry for any other psychopath that was anywhere even near those numbers. I'm so sorry if you're still doing it. All right, so this game is completed. So let's see what happens here. Let's see if we can either keep the sledgehammer or maybe I can try to play one more extra game. I, I don't know. Is it gonna say 15 out of 15? 15, 0 of 15. 1 of 15. Is it going to count that double kill? The, the two different double kills I got? Let's see. So let's back out. Knife. Oh, it worked! Oh, shit! People are like, dude, are you sure that you're not backing out or whatever? See, so before, whenever you would back out of these games, they would just simply not track. But on this, it says that it's tracking, but it's not. Or maybe you could back out up to 14 matches and then not back out on the 15th. Okay, shit. All right, never mind. Uh, yeah, we're gonna be meleeing all night then. I will be back tomorrow with a, uh, Dark Matter Ultra Sledgehammer then. Cool, I got something to do. I was expecting to be completely disappointed. So now I just need to annoy the shit out of people. I run Danger Close and double smoke grenade the entire map. You thought you were camping in that window. I think Nuketown still stays here so we can actually do it. Okay, and it is leveling up and it's counting towards things, right? Yeah, all right. We get it up to level 30. I'm probably gonna use the double XP tokens then. Double kill, stuff like that. Well, no problem. It's gonna be a really annoying day of just running just out of arm's reach of people and swinging at VTOLs in my spawn. The issue is that when I was trying to unlock this thing, uh, get those 14 of 15 matches completely done and actually finish them out, don't back out or anything like that. Throughout those games, whenever I actually uh, finished getting the double kill, I didn't just spend the rest of it knifing every single time. I would just like sweat or snipe or something. And I guess my recent games were tough because at the last like four or five matches I've joined have just been filled with VTOLs and AC-130s and whatever. Groups of people communicating, multiple level like 200 pluses. It's not that it's impossible to be at that level, it's just like every game? I... It definitely swings slower than the knife. 
TV dinners invited me. Dude, I miss TV dinners when I was younger. Got the chicken, mashed potatoes, and corn in there. We're always like absurdly dry or something from being overcooked or watery or some shit. They were never perfect, but they are perfect. I miss when I was like eight and my grandma would just cook that shit for me. Uh, maybe not danger close. I don't know. Let's go perk greed again. I wanted more smoke, but it just not having the perks is so awful. You just get killed by the most awful shit. I hate napalm so much. Hey, anybody else, but is napalm still too strong? It's still too easy to wipe an entire team with it, even when they're inside. I swear, every single time I'm inside on Nuketown, I still die to that napalm every single time. Yeah, for a while I was saying that this thing doesn't have more lunge than the other things. No, it definitely has more range. I don't know what the fuck I was saying. It didn't feel like it though because it's still not that good. Just because it's better in a certain area and slightly different than the knife doesn't make it good though. The melee weapons on this game are awful. So I'm assuming the sword probably has the same range, maybe even a little more range than the combat knife. But it probably swings faster or something. Yeah, I went negative. <laughs> it's a good start to this grind, but uh, tomorrow, hopefully, I'll be able to have this thing completely done and everything, and uh, after that, I'm still empty inside, so...